in this tutorial I will show you how to solve heat transfer problems in COMSOL multiphysics I will teach you how to heat up different layer materials and how to plot and how to make movies for better visualization I show you here this is one part is copper and uh, second part is iron so we will heat up one part and uh, we will see how at the interface temperature change I show you the plot right here you see when we reach at uh, interface then temperature change dramatically also we can visualize movie so let's see how temperature change during our heating process so this simulation is uh, only for four seconds we can of course extend now let's get started how we will do this I have a new file go to model building wizards go to 3d and since we are solving heat transfer problem so I will go to heat transfer problem we can study heat transfer in solids liquids in solids and fluids and uh, conjugate heat transfer but here we will only study heat transfer in solid so I will choose this one go to add and uh, now heat transfer problem is already here here temperature is variable uh, will change during this simulation so i go to study and uh, we have uh, options we can study for stationary we can study it for time dependent and uh, we have also a couple of more options but here we will use time dependent study so uh, done
so it is already done now now i will first we will go to geometry and uh, we are going to study a uh, small sample so i will select here a uh, centimeter unit i i need uh, two cylinders for one for copper and the second one is for steel or we can use iron uh, let's uh, its radius is 0.1 height is one is okay uh, i created this one now i need one more cylinder so again I go here cylinder uh, it's again 0 0.1 height is same but uh, here I will shift it at top so I will put z axis 1 so built all so you see we have two cylinders one is copper and uh, one we will use as steel now we will go to heat transfer to assign temperature we will choose temperature suppose over temperature is uh, 593 kelvin so i want to give this temperature to only one top surface that is copper so it's selected as seven now next step is to choose material and uh, i need to get material from our library i have uh, material uh, recent materials i have materials and just i used I I use co I use iron for lower section iron for only this section and uh, I will search another mm, copper it will take a little time so I have I use copper for add to component and uh, for upper component we use copper so first thing is uh, geometry second one is material selection third one is temperature and uh, next step is to choose the mesh size so i will go to mesh 
and uh, we select it as normal we can change it to uh, extremely fine fine or any else but uh, here we don't need very fine mesh so I will only choose normal mesh size next step is uh, to select timing for our simulation so I will only study it for 4 seconds so next step is to compute this we go and uh, now let's see what happens it's uh, already working and uh, soon it will finish so you see uh, here is uh, the temperature temperature of copper portion is very high and temperature at iron side is very low this is after 4 seconds we can check it uh, after 0 0.1 second we can check it for 1 second and so on now next step is how to plot a graph from this data let's uh, go here data set and uh, go to cut line 3d and uh, here i go from 0 to 2 i plot so i got a line from here from 0 to 2 passing through both of the materials uh, so I want to check temperature how temperature change from top to bottom passing through different materials so next step is to plot this data I again go to data set I go to cut line 2d and uh, I I have I need to find 1D plot group so it's asked from solution 1 time selection all and uh, now which type of plot is it's a line plot so I go to line plot so it will ask uh, which line so we will choose cut line 3D1 so now we plot and you see here it is for all the time steps for example here time selection all i can choose lost you will find one curve if i choose first then it will change like this and uh, if i choose to all then again we will get the same type of curves now already i mentioned we can get a movie of this source simulation go to animation go to player and uh, we will see how temperature changes during our simulation
you see this is how it temperature change again we can repeat this this is initially temperature is very low then it increases now we can also see its uh, temperature behaviors so now let's see its uh, we can also see animation here yes so it's getting data and here you see how temperature again changes from its time interval is very short so I can change it to 0 0.5 seconds so now you will see how slowly temperature changes in this way we can easily simulate heat transfer problems and also we can put uh, lots and uh, whatever we want we can do this in the next lecture i will teach how to do laser heat simulation stay with us thank you